This week, Meta's Segment Anything model, SAM2, dropped, and I'm gonna give my thoughts about how I feel about it. So this is a really big game-changing model because for the longest time, computer vision was a huge problem that uh, that's very hard to solve because when you have text and numbers, that's what computers are very good at processing, but images are pixels, right? So to find out what's an object, you would have to trace the pixels around an object and then guess what the object is. So let's go into what they did and see how they did it. They even gave you the data and the masters. So this is very good. So you can actually learn on this and like improve it yourself. And they also mentioned that they can do real time processing of images because what they said was in a video, a video is just really a series of images. So you can run the algorithm every second and then pull out what the sections are. So it's very good at tracking the different objects. So then you can see the change in movement. If it works well, it can do a lot of applications. Like it can help with AR, where like, you know, you can track where things are moving and it will also help with doing LAM, large action model. A lot of the large action models right now in AI are really not that good, but I'm thinking if this can work well, then this can improve that a lot. And they also have a demo, which I'll go through in a bit. And then when they explain how they built it, basically they have an image, they use an image encoder, and then they have a memory of what was processed so far. And then they have a mass decoder and a prompt encoder. So basically like they train the model on like Here's the image. I drew a mass over the different sections and they train them all. So it's really good at figuring that out. And then basically they're using the whole transformer model from the LM side, but they're doing it for images. And it sounds like they got it to work a lot better now. So some of the limitations that we we're seeing so far is that it struggles with very weird camera angles or very crowded scenes. So I think they might fix that in the future, but that will always be a problem. If there's very fine details on a fast moving object, it messes up the tracing, which also is understandable because pixels are blurred and it's very slow at processing multiple objects. So if you see all the demos, they are always only highlighting one thing. If they would highlight everything, it's too much processing power and they can't do it properly. Another limitation to have is like, you have to click on something and hover and then you can know like, oh, the, I'm tracking this thing. They have their thing that can track everything at once, which I'll demo in a bit, but it's not, Amazing. So let's go into the demo. So here on their site, they have all these different samples. So let's just choose this one. So this is more complicated, I think. So here, if I hover over this, there's a tree. And if I click here, see, I, and let's say I only want this building. See, if I only want this building, it actually had two buildings because the fine lines are not clear. That's where it messed up a little bit. But let's say I choose this table. See, it, it didn't get it right here. So you only got that section, right? But if I click up here, it can control both, right? Oh, so I guess like you can just click multiple sections and it will combine it together. So if I go this person, this shirt, this pants, and then you can highlight the whole thing. So let's see, it's very manual, so it's not perfect yet. The other thing they mentioned was that, oh, it can do for video, but you can't really do the demo for video. So I don't know how that works. Maybe it doesn't work very well. Their box feature is also pretty interesting where like if I go like this, I can highlight and then it'll get me the whole tree, right? Again, this is a lot of manual work. It's been, pr it's pretty accurate for what it can do right now. Now, when you do the everything one, where basically you let the AI figure out what the different sections are, I think this is where we'll see the problems. So you see here, see it missed some of the windows here. It missed this invisible person and some of the stuff inside here it missed. It's a good start, but I don't think this is quite good enough yet. So let me try some real examples. So first I'm gonna try a screenshot. So this is like a screenshot of, your, of a software, right? So let's say hover, yeah, I hover over this text, you can do that. But when I hover here, you see it highlights the whole thing. It, see, here's the word and here's the hover. See, it highlights both. So that's not what you want. Let's try here. It's very easy for you to like, it's see for it to blur. See if I move up a little bit more, it just highlights the whole thing. I think for screenshots, it's better. So if this is the case, then this can be used for LAM very well. Let's try running everything. Yeah, so see here, it highlights everything. So basically, see, it missed these two though. So like, that is a problem. But basically, if you can highlight everything, now I can know, I can tell the AI, take this, send it to GPT Vision, find out what this thing does. And then basically, now I can like have it code, like click this, click this point and do this in real time. But see, it still misses a few things, but it's getting there, it's just not quite there. Let's try another image that's more complicated. So I don't know if you guys ever played like I Spy as a kid. This is like, basically it's a, uh, it's designed to be a complicated image and then you have multiple sections. So you see here, like for the most part, you can highlight different ones. So you see this, right? When it's very fine lines. So it messes up when it's very fine lines. So let's let's try to do everything now this time. So it caught a lot of stuff, but it missed this 
dog. They missed some of the stuff in the truck. They missed the bird here. It's a cool demo, but I don't think it's perfectly there. So that is my demo of SAM 2. So if to recap, I would say it's a huge improvement on the image processing on the pure vision side. It can segment a lot of stuff, but for very fine detail stuff or changing weird angles, it's not good still. But I'm very excited to see it work soon. So if it if it can work well for screenshots, then for sure that combined with glam will be game changing for the industry.